Hey everyone, we're going to find the eccentricity and the lattice rectum for four problems. The first one is a parabola. And so we know in the parabola that the uh, it's always one. So E always equals one. So what we're going to do is, first of all, find A. So in this case, if I rewrite this as Y minus 2 squared, well, let's write this as K, equals 4A times X plus 1. Then I set these two equal to each other because we want to find A. So 4A equals 4, so A is 1. And then we know that A equals C equals 1. Okay, so E equals C over A, which always is just 1. So that's the formula for that. Um, and your LR is just going to be uh, 4A equals 4 times 1, which equals 4. Basically, it's always right here. Okay? And I went ahead and drew, uh, drew it. So basically, your lattice rectum is this cord here that goes through the vertex. This is your C right here. This is your C, which actually equals your A. And you probably should, you should have already watched the videos um, on my parabolas. Okay? The next one is we have an ellipse, so we're going to rewrite this and divide everything by 144. Since 16 times 9 is 144, I can just do this simply. The center is 0, 0, so it makes it easy. And then we do what we did in the other videos. Um, just write down our A squared is uh, the big number. Uh, B squared is your smaller number then you subtract, subtract because c squared equals a squared minus b squared, which equals 7. Therefore, a equals plus or minus 4, b equals plus or minus 3, and square root of 7 would be your c, plus or minus square root of 7. Okay? So your e eccentricity is c over a, which is just the square root of 4, 7, sorry, over 4. Now you may be wondering about this minus part here. However, if you, if you put minus in front of both of these, you still get a positive. So your eccentricity is always positive. Then we're going to find the uh, LR, and that is 2B squared over A which equals 2 times 9 over 4, which equals 9 over 2, which is about 4.5. I went ahead and kind of drew this. Um, so this is your LR here. Basically, it's the cord. I just messed that up. So basically, it's the cord that connects the foci, focus, to the outer, and that length is 4.5, so it's 2.25 on each side. And then if you have your, um, I can write from here, this would be x squared. Um, your x is your 3, so that's 3 squared is 9, plus y squared, and that's 4. 4 squared is 16, equals 1. Okay? And the next one they give you is going to be a hyperbola. So what I'm going to do is um, have to complete the square on this one. I group my x's together and my y's together. I move the 4 constant over. Now I'm going to complete the square. I'm going to pull out the 4. Do x squared plus 2x plus, again, I call these boxes, minus y squared minus, remember you have to change this to a minus because you're pulling out a negative, it's like pulling out a negative 1, minus 4y plus your box equals 
and I'm going to write this negative 4 plus 4 times the box, because it's 4 times this box, minus a box. So let's complete the square. Half of 2 is 1 squared, you get 1. Half of 4 is 2 and you squared, and you get 4. So you plug the 1 here, and you plug the 4 here. So these two cancel and you get negative 4. Now I'm going to make my uh, trinomial group it together. So this could be x plus half of 2 is 1 squared minus y minus half of 4 is 2 squared equals negative 4. Now when I divide both sides but everything by negative 4. So I'm dividing by negative 4. I'm going to get negative x plus 1 squared over 1 um, plus y minus 2 squared over 4. These two negatives make a positive. Now, and this is going to just equal 1. Now, since we already know it's a hyperbola, and we can't start with the negative there, put the y, y portion first. And this equals 1. All right. Now, let's fill out all the information we need. Um, we know when we have this, we have a... So, let me rewrite this. We have y minus 2 squared over 4 minus x plus 1 squared over 1 equals 1. So I'm going to do my a squared equals 4, b squared equals 1, and then you add these two to get your c squared, which is 5. Therefore, a is plus or minus 2, b equals plus or minus 1, and c equals plus or minus square root of 5. So your eccentricity is c over a, and our c is square root of 5, and our a is 2. And our lr is 2b squared over a, which equals 2 times 1 over 2, which equals 1. And then I kind of drew it here. So again, this was a y minus 2 squared over 4. Why do I always never leave room? Okay, let me just write it on the side. Um, y minus 2 squared, the quantity of y minus 2 and square it, over 4 minus x plus 1, then square it, over 1 equals 1. All right? And your foci is here. No, not, not there. Your foci is, um, let me erase this. Your foci is here, and then your lattice rectum is right there. It's or 1. So that's that link between the foci and the the graph, and if you want it to extend this uh, B over A thing, you can extend it, but that's not what this video is about. All right, so there you go. And the last one, they give you, uh, they tell you it's hyperbola, they give you the center and the vertex, one of the vertex points, and the eccentricity is two. So since my um, X is what's changing. I know that it's uh, opening up on the X from the previous video. So this is going to be X minus 2 squared minus Y plus 3 squared equals 1. Now it has to be over something. So basically, um, A we know is 4 because we're adding 4 2 plus 4 equals 6. 
So this is going to be uh, 4 squared is 16. And it's on the X, so that goes there. And now I have to find everything else. So we know that the eccentricity is E equals C over A. Um, C over A. So 2 equals C over my A is 4. So my C equals 8. Because 8 over 4 is 2. All right? So now we can find everything. We have our um, A squared is 16. B squared, we know not what. And C squared is going to be what? C squared, 8 squared is 64. So B squared is going to be 48. Therefore, A equals plus or minus 4. B equals plus or minus square root of 48. And I'm just going to leave it like that because square root of 48 is very close to 7. Square root of 49. And C equals plus or minus 8. Okay? So we already have our E, our LR for a pergola is 2B squared over A, so the LR is 2, B squared is 48, and A is 4. So basically it's half of 48, which is 12. Now, you can stop now because we got all the information. I did try to try to graph it, but it doesn't look very good. And um, basically our lattice rectum is 24, so I went up here and, and drew the cord. And I couldn't draw down here, but this whole thing all the way is 12. So basically, up to, all the way up to here is 12. And if you wanted to draw the asymptotes, you could draw the asymptotes. And there it is. Okay, and that is all of this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.